Hi everyone and welcome to the third video about making a carbon fiber motorcycle rally fairing. If you missed part 1 and 2 go check it in the description down below. So the topic for today will be mold making and as you can see we let the mold cure over the weekend and last Friday we made the mold itself. We will explain everything going from making the real mold to finishing it and welcome to this episode. Hit like, subscribe, share. <laughs> Now I'll explain you how the mold is made. So we did the gel coat first, so it's a black coat. We've used about 600 grams, I think. Uh, can you yeah, yeah, six, 600 yeah. grams. Um, and then we added the McP hardener. And that's also like in the previous video, it's a ratio about um, temperatures, the ambient temperature. So the colder it is, the more you use. And you have a pot life of around 20 till 30 minutes. We've used 2% because now it's cold, it's about 10 degrees here in the workshop. Uh, ideally, you would work around 20 degrees Celsius. Coupling coats, and for the coupling mm. coats, you'll use the uh, chop strands 100 gram square meter. So it's a very fine um, strand, and it's just like the first coats that will that will avoid having like bubbles or cracks just below your gel coat because this is the most important coat that you'll have to uh, to use. So the legend says that the color changes when you put the neck P catholic uh, into it. And apparently it's true, it's getting darker. Then we'll use the uh, Unimold tooling resin. And so it's a three part system. So you have to use the three parts to make molds. So you have the uh, gel coat, coupling coat, and final coat to be the tooling resin coat. And as you can see on the cans, it's, um, everything is also uh, noted like 1.5 till 2% of MCP. On the last coat, it's, um, I use around 1%. Uh, and then you can just let it cure and it's an exothermal reaction with the thickness of the fiber that will uh, allow that. For that we use the 450 gram square meter and we do a build up of around four layers to get like a nice uh, yeah. surface. And like thick mold that won't change because that's the strength of the uh, Unimold system. It's a very stable system compared to the normal laminating resins. So you're able to make good stable molds that won't deform or warp after curing. Okay. is fully cured now so I would advise you to wait for two days for the unimold system to fully cure and then we can proceed with the demolding and trimming of the flanges.
Okay, so um, we rough cut the mold and now much we will will finish the mold by just giving it the smooth edge so the vacuum bag will be better to uh, or easier to uh, mount so we're just using some flanges to remove the piece so uh, the entire flange that we had is removed so it's a good sign it was easy to remove it um, so it was just a hot glue and then you just pull it off and now we're trying with the wedges to go under it and uh, yeah we'll see about how it will be on the mold like for the finish that's an easy release and so far it looks quite good I think there's no damage. It's maybe really here just a little bit. Tiny bit, yeah. Uh, uh. It should be okay. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, mostly a release agent. I just like to sand it just to have like, like a good start and a clean mold without having any contamination on it. Yeah, so uh, which paper are you going to use? I think we'll be using an 800 grit. Um, like just to remove like the last little marks and as you can see these are like marks of the uh, release agents so a bit of glass and you can see here like a little damage that will be sanded out and it's just to make one piece so um, any damage even left on the mold uh, on the parts coming out of the molds can be sanded again so um, yeah I think I'm pretty happy and we should also like here we'll see, this will be a, like a small problem uh, that we'll be fixing by sanding is that we have some sharp edges that need like to be a bit more flat so we can sand this down this is just a flange so we have a lot of flange so that's good that the preparation was well done it's for easy uh, applying of the tacky tape and infusion tubes and yes because most problems with infusions are being made with a vacuum bag so if you don't have a fully sealed bag you cannot do good infusions like it's not a good technique to use resin infusion if you're not able to make bags the way it should be done yeah. but it's just practice it's it's not impossible it's practice so um, we'll continue cleaning the mold now and then uh, we can proceed with the layer okay perfect. The entire mold was cleaned with some soapy water, then Bert just sanded it all the way through. I think you went till 800 grit. Yes, that's right. Uh, and now we're ready for the release agent. So very important to apply five till six layers and wait one hour after the last layer before we can start with the layout. If you always want to be up to date with new videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell button as well to get notifications when new videos are being uploaded. If you want to support me, the best way is giving this video a like.